Hi, how's it going? My name is Mike Sutherland. I'm studying Bachelor of Education at Curtin University, majoring in Human Biology, minoring in SOS, and today I'm going to talk to you about teaching in a digital age and my motivation behind wanting to become a teacher. I'll start with what motivates me to wanting to teach. My most memorable teacher was Mike Lands. He was my Year 9 sports teacher and head of boarding. I also completed work experience with, you in, with Mike in Year 10. The message he passed on was that no matter what you do with yourself, it's important to maintain a healthily balanced lifestyle. I believe that teaching lends itself well to a balanced lifestyle as it is rewarding and fulfilling as well as being sustainable. I believe that working with adolescents will be a rewarding yet challenging experience and I personally feel as though it is a privilege to be able to sculpt students' lives in such an intimate manner, especially throughout such a crucial time in their lives. I chose to study secondary teaching because I have had a great time with my exposure to educating teenagers through my experience as a sports coach at Wesley College, coaching the United Rugby team. I find it easy to relate to young people and find their development very interesting. Being youthful generates so much diversity among their self-identity, which is truly fascinating. It is also so exciting to think that children growing up in this digitally enriched environment could occupy jobs in the future that are yet to be created. The development of technology and its use in the classroom has had huge effects on education of students. The extent of information now available to students is basically limitless, which is great as an aid to facilitate learning. However, I believe that this also presents certain challenges, such as monitoring the content that children are exposed to, regarding quality of sources and inappropriate material on the internet, as well as ensuring that the technology is employed in a way to allow itself to be used as an effective aid in facilitating learning, rather than being used as a toy or a distraction. Despite the obvious changes that the involvement of technology has had over the last few decades, I don't believe that the actual role of teachers has changed. We still aim to facilitate learning in the classroom. It is that we need to do this in a way to allow for students to become functional in a world where technology is becoming more and more involved in daily living. Although I do not feel that this challenge is for the students alone, us as educators will also find it important to remain current with the times and adapt to the ever-changing world of technology being used in the classroom. Thank you for listening to my speech and I hope you've found it enjoyable and educational.